Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com for free premium sports picks. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there. Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. And let me just point out, my Roku channel actually, believe it or not, gets bigger crowds than my YouTube channel page. So I do hope you give that Roku channel a look. I believe this weekend is going to be upset weekend. I strongly believe that Arislandi Lara is going to beat... Saul Alvarez. And Lara is a plus 140 underdog. I'm going to disagree with Austin Trout, who said that Lara needs a knockout to win. Right? I feel that Lara moves better than Trout. I think that Canelo's deficiencies are going to be exposed on a greater level than they were in the Trout fight or even the Mayweather fight. Right, and I'm expecting it to be apparent in this fight by the middle rounds that Canelo needs a knockout to win the fight. The bet I like there is the underdog, Lara to win, hedged with Canelo by KO. Well, let's talk about another fight. Right, you know we're more degenerate than picking a single fight, right? Um, if there are other fights out there, I'm going to hop in the water there too. Right now, Mauricio Herrera, you might recall him, he beat Ruslan Provodnikov in the past. Many people believe he beat Danny Garcia, right? He's clearly been in the ring with championship-level fighters. He's favored right now over a fighter who fascinates me named Johan Perez. In my opinion, Perez, who's a plus-120 underdog in the fight, is a ringer. I think this guy is the real deal, right? I'm very impressed, even though he doesn't have the big reputation. Uh, he looks like he has a lot of game to me, right? I like Perez to win that fight at the plus 120, but there, I'm going to hedge the bet with Herrera by decision. Right, so my call in that fight is Perez to win. You're getting better than even money. Hedged with Herrera by decision. And what I want people to do is I want people to look at the recent fight between the ghost, Robert Guerrero. It's his last fight. And the guy he was fighting was Carmagay. Right, and Carmagay gave the ghost all he could handle. He got up close to the ghost and he hit the ghost with a lot of combinations. There's several times in that fight where Robert Guerrero's head is snapping back. Guerrero got an eye closed. Right? He was getting battered, in my opinion. He won the fight, but it was a shootout. Now compare and contrast that fight with Carmagay's fight against Johan Perez you're going to see a different dynamic. Perez, in many ways, is like Arislandi Lara. He moves around the ring. He keeps his head. But, he actually throws more combinations than Lara. And I'm here to tell you that he looked better against Carmagay than did Robert Guerrero. I think the lateral movement <clears throat> is going to give Herrera a lot of problems. Keep in mind, look at the pre-fight video I made for the Herrera-Danny Garcia fight. In that pre-fight video, I thought Herrera would give Garcia problems. Well here, I actually think Perez is going to give Herrera problems because he's just more fluid. He's very accurate. Let me point out, too, <clears throat> if you look at Perez's record, a couple things are going to leap out at you. One is that his only loss was to another fighter I consider to be underrated, Pablo Cano. You may recall Cano knocked down Pauli Malinaji when they fought, right? And that fight, 
ended in the seventh round based on an accidental clash of heads. Right? What you need to know is that's the only loss on Perez's record. Understand, at the time of the head clash, one of the judges had that fight either. Understand, too, it was Perez who gave Paul Spatafora, a fighter who is supposed to have roughed up Floyd Mayweather in a sparring session. It was Perez who gave Spatafora his first loss. Right? So, I believe Perez has been in the ring with some very shrewd customers. He's also fought and beat Steve Forbes. And I believe Perez is just better with the movement and the combinations and the hand speed than is Mauricio Herrera. Right? So... I like Perez in the upset here at plus 120. I'm going to hedge the play with Herrera by decision. I don't see Herrera knocking out Perez. I do see a scenario where the fight could be close and Herrera could beat Perez in a photo finish. What I'm expecting is the opposite. I'm expecting a fight like the Canelo Lara fight, where it becomes obvious by the middle of the fight that Perez is the superior fighter. I like the underdog here and I hope you take a hard look at Perez because as we name <clears throat> some of the other studs around 140 and 147 right Lucas Matisse and others Danny Garcia right just understand in my opinion this guy Johan Perez looks like he has at least as much talent. Let me hear from you Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. I like two underdogs this weekend. Everslandy Lara at plus 140 and Johan Perez at plus 120. I think the casino is mispricing both of these fights. Thanks for stopping by.